Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com, your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me for pricing. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing the Urwerk UR103.09, a watch that launched, as you see it, back in 2008. It built on the legacy of the original UR103. Now, when the 103 originally launched, it was a lot like the Urwerk watches that came previously. Only the forwardmost portion of the carousel was visible, with the rest essentially just an extended case. Well, with the 10303 Urwerk under designer Martin Fry and watchmaker Felix Baumgartner, they started to peel back the layers of case above the carousel. With the 10303, we got a full visual access to the carousel. And then with the 09 model you see here, we added these engraved strakes on the top to give it a decidedly Art Deco character. The 10303 was the watch that made Urwerk what it is today, and this watch continues in that tradition. It's large but easy to wear, so it's 36.1 millimeters from side to side. It is 13.7 millimeters thick, and from end to end, the best measurement yields 50.5 millimeters, a total distance across the wrist. Throwing it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see it's a large watch, but it's not huge. It is fairly thin, and it should slide underneath the cuff. I'd recommend it for a watch no smaller than 15 centimeters circumference, but down to 15 centimeters, you're still going to find that the watch wears well. And keep in mind, though it's 50.5 millimeters from end to end, there's a little bit of a undertuck. The strap, especially over at the carousel end, is significantly inboard of the edge of the case, so the watch sits better than you might think on a wrist even as small as 15 centimeters. And I'll give you one more down the barrel and one more over the top. The timepiece has a custom strap of high quality. You can see large rectangular scale alligator leather. The Strap is custom made, so if you want a new one, you're gonna to have to have it custom made or buy an OEM strap from Urwerk. You can see it is a large rectangular scale alligator leather, black with a matte finish. There's a lot of stuffing or bolstering to give it volume. It has a monotone stitch, a folded edge. On the underside, it is calfskin. You can see it is a brand new Urwerk factory strap. And we have a buckle that is rose gold to match the watch. You can see in profile, the edge of the buckle looks a lot like the profile of the watch. Martin Fry is always consistent about these things. Everything is integrated and coherent. The case has a little bit of a layered profile. It's sheer, no doubt, but that layered profile masks just how broad and flat it is. We have the strakes on the top, which were engraved using lathes that had to reset their height above the case, so each new stripe was laid down in a different position. We have a crown that is oversized and matte finished, and then we have the carousel itself. Now, this idea is known as Wandering Hours. Audemars Piguet back in 1991 with the Star Wheel was the first to use this on modern wristwatches. Previously, it had been a clock complication from the Renaissance known as Wandering Hours. AP used a combination of Star Wheels, Sapphire Discs, and jumper springs. Urwerk uses a Maltese cross system for rotating the discs that is far more durable and requires less maintenance. So the way this works is we have a zero to 60 minute scale, and then we have this little oncoming disc that always enters from the right side. Now the outgoing hour moves off the end of the scale and the oncoming hour first hits zero, meaning it is two o'clock. And it's a digital time indicator. So right there, it's 15, 2.15. Right there, it is two. 20, right there it is 225 and then it is 230 and you can see how the discs rotate as the system pirouettes around the dial. Now what you'll also appreciate is that this watch is extravagantly luminescent. Lots and lots and lots of loom and it's even more spectacular to see it in action when it is dark. Let me pull that out and we'll fire up the watch so you can see it in action at night. It's a whirlwind of loom. The carousel is lightweight, anti-magnetic, corrosion-resistant material. On the reverse side of the case, you can see we have what they call the control board for the UR-103. So there's a lot going on here. The most remarkable component is this little fine-tuning screw. Urwerk gives an enormous amount of power 
to the owner of the watch. So if you put this on your chronoscope or your watchmaker puts it on his chronoscope and it's running a few seconds fast or a few seconds slow, you can actually use an associated tool to move this fine adjustment mechanism and change the timing of your own watch. Now to make it easier to read minutes, we have this little revolving 15 minute scale on the bottom. And if you want running seconds, you have that too. There's also a power reserve indicator. And though it says 43 hours, that seems to be generic to a number of Erverk case backs. Erverk specifically cites a manual wind 36 hour power reserve. The movement in this watch is Erverk 3.04, which is a manual wind with 36 hours claimed power reserve. The power reserve indicator on the reverse side beats away at six beats per second and it has that tuning key for fine adjustments. I believe that the base for this manual wind movement is actually a La Joux Pere caliber because Erverk has used La Joux Pere and then later Gerard Perigo, and then later Zenith Elite bass movements. And all of those have a higher beat rate than this. So I believe this is the older La Joux Pere bass. And that is exactly in keeping with Erverk's history. They mostly use high grade customer calibers and then they build their own watch making movement module on top. All of this is 30 meters water resistant. So water resistant, but not necessarily something you wanna take swimming. Reach out to TMASO at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this rose gold Erverk UR 103.09.